Hello everybody, it's me. Welcome back to the video. Now, in this video, I had recently done my awaken tier list, right? And um one of my friends was very against the placement I gave to Awaken Archipos. And I kept trying to convince them that it is still such a good and powerful awakening, and it is very hard to stop. The only real weakness it has are usually fire types. And they were very passionate that it wasn't as high as I wanted to put it. I originally put it in S tier and I was like, fine. So I lowered it down to A tier. But I really wanted to like try it and see if my presumptuation about its um, brokenness and absurdity is actually as high as I say it is. I really do think that Awakened Archipost is absolutely cracked. Don't get me wrong, I think it's insane. And I'm going to be trying it out today. And here I have Attack and Steve with the trait Levitate. Makes it very easy for me to switch in and actually get my Awakening off because I am able to um, be immune to Earth type moves, right? One other issue is we can't really hit Earth types all that hard. Um, notable ones we notable ones that we were able to hit though is Rhino Stone and Clangotang. Anything that we can hit with um, melee coverage is really nice. Um, and I think generally this thing's gonna be pretty good. We have our runes, of course, and with our moves here we have Clumsy Swing, Hex Punch, Chemical Cleave, and Pursuit. Now with Hex Punch, uh, you might be saying, why don't you just use Spirit Claws? It has a high chance to crit as well as it being a higher base power. Well, our ability is known as Delicate, which turns any move below 60 base power um, to be 50% stronger. And 50% of 60 is 30, making it 90 plus stab, which is 45, which is essentially making a 135 base stab, whereas um, uh, Spirit Claws would be 120. And then we also have Clumsy Swing, which we want Clumsy Swing because it's actually able to pair um, pretty nicely with all the coverage we have here. Spirit types can't come in, or normal types can't come in and wall your Hex Punch because you have Clumsy Swing. And generally, Clumsy Swing is just a better version of Iron Slash, and it's just a better version of your other stab. The only reason you would ever use Iron Slash over Clumsy Swing or even Daze is if you wanted to have extra stab. But this just hits more things. It, it just hits more. You know, it hits basic, it hits ice, it hits crystal, it hits metal, right? It hits all of those. And you're also able to do some very good work against kill intel with this specific set. I think the old one I used, you were actually pretty bad against it. You only had ambush, and even then, if they were running light orbs, you barely even hit it. I know we also have chemical leave, which I think you should always use on this because, yes, it is one of your weaker moves at 75 base power. But it's able to hit Abyssin pretty hard, which is what you want. It's also able to hit Voltatu really hard, and I don't think it's either. It's even contact, and you're also able to do pretty good into Fruitoad. You're able to chemical cleave and get rid of its buffs as well, and that's also really good. And then we also have Pursuit, which is such a strong move on this thing, actually. Originally, I had Ambush, which made it a 90 base power move, but with Pursuit, you can make it um, a 60 base power move, which is essentially the old power of Ambush, but you can also have that option of chasing things out that want to switch, which honestly is very, very good. And I think it's going to be very, very solid. With equipments, I'm just running max speed because you already have ridiculously high attack plus delicate boosting your attacks even further. You don't need any real attack investment as long as they're super fast. And generally, I think this thing is going to be very, very good. Things that we want to be worried about are definitely things of priority. But yeah, without further ado, let us hop into the first battle. Okay, and here we go into the first battle. Now, what's kind of cool about uh, about uh, Archipos is once it awakens, it gains such a high speed. I think of 117 or 113. Good. I hate yawning the second I start these videos. It's because I don't talk that much sometimes during the day. Um... Let me see. You have a speed stat of 115 compared to Alaminja's 117. So it would all come down to what speed stat Alaminja is running. Um, they also have a Juneko. So we can definitely assume that that is going to want to set up. Or not set up. Set up B summon. Um, I don't really have any good removal. Because I don't have any removal at all. Um, so I think here we can go with Abyssant on the possibility of Juneko. Okay. They're just going to want to instantly set up their beast summon. Hey, that's completely fine. 
I don't really mind them setting up their beast summon. It's a little annoying because then now we they're good to be summoned, but hey, it is what it is, I guess. They're gonna have it up for the rest of the game. So we get our flashing strike off here. Realistically, if they wanted to switch, they could go prickles, which would be their best option. Okay, interestingly enough, they actually go into bubble, which can awaken. But are we really worried about fighting this thing? Why are why does he go into this though? Can't I just fin slash? He gets a defense boost, though, so maybe that was their plan. But I outspeed, so I can still get a 2-hit KO. Yeah, I still get a 2-hit KO. Earth Lance barely does anything, and I recover all my health, too. Okay, I beat a ham down. If I wanted to be smart, I Icy Bite on Prickles. But hey, I'm not going to do that. I mean, they instantly stack off Bubble, which is a really weird switch for them to make, when they could have just clicked B Summon. Then they were totally fine. But I guess that does remove their awakening immediately and also opens up uh, Archipost to do some decent work. <laughs> max speed Archipost should actually be max speed Janeko, which is nice. Pretty sure. Okay, so I think here we always go Dayferno. It pretty much walls it walls this thing entirely. And then their only switch would be fire up uh Bronzok. Hmm. Which, if that goes, if they go into that, I can go Vigimonte, which they they could just switch here. I'm gonna Fireball, though, just to see what the Bronzok is. Because, realistically, this thing shouldn't be able to 1v1 me, right? It can't 1v1 me. I can just click my Siphon Soul at this point. I can always Siphon Soul. Bonk comes out, we take... Almost no damage. Actually, we're not going to take any damage at all. We're going to heal from Siphon and our Crayons. It's kind of crazy how good Dayferno's typing is, and it. No one really abuses Dayferno. Like, seriously. Start using Dayferno. It is absolutely cracked. It's crazy how good it is. Just so easy. It's so easy, easily used. Like, you deal with half of the stuff in the entire game, so... Hmm. Yeah, and they have no dark type switching either. Hmm. Maybe they had Stampede the entire time, but they were trying to do some kind of prediction. But I have Levitate, so... attack boost, yeah. Well, I think we always go Abyssin. I mean, once we get Archipost on the field, I don't see how it doesn't win the game. <clears throat> if they want to do this, they can. You know, they can do this if they want. It literally doesn't change the fact that I can go right back into Dayferno. You just basically gave me a free fireball. You just gave me a free fireball. That's what you did. Chan and Ruby doing some work. Did a lot. Okay. Then here we can fireball. You have no way of stopping this. I think he lives one fireball. He might see that and just want to immediately go for his move. But if he goes for a thousand needles um, after my fireball. Mm, okay, they go into Cerebo, which gets burned. Which they can go for a hex. Huge. Even then, I'm pretty sure hex maybe would have killed. I think Fireball. No, Fireball was not stronger. Because it's uh two times effective along with Stab. Yeah, we can Hex here. And then it's just dead. No, Prickles would not have lived. You can only go Dineko. And I think after that kill, I think I win now with Archipos. Um... I think here I want to break Determination Jelly, then hit and run. Let's actually go for the Sharpen. Which makes this a bit scarier. 
Yeah, this can make this a little bit scarier now. Dark Slash. We should live that. Oh, we take nothing. Yeah, so that is... Oh, he's par oh, yeah, now it's just a victory. Okay, now it's just a win for Archipos. Archipos just wins now. I don't think we can actually kill the Prickles, though. Um, so we're gonna find out. So let's go straight into Archipos. We have 137 attack on Awakened Archipos. It's kind of crazy. Is it going to British? Alright, this will be... We'll see if this is, um... We can awaken here for free, and we will actually be able to see if this is a uh, determination jelly. And if it is, hey, that's fine. We're good. We outspeed it every time anyway. We have like 202 something speed. Nope, and it's not determination jelly. But we're never gonna be. Able we never kill prickles with one chemical cleave. We never kill prickles with one chemical cleave. Does it go into prickles? And there we are. 204 with 195. I I just don't get why this isn't good. You know, like. I'll never understand, my friend. I'll never understand why they said that this thing is not S tier. Like, look at that. We did that much damage. All we would have needed to do... I think we died of that. Um, all we would have needed to do was um, just hit it once, and this thing was pretty much dead to the Archiboss. Alright, let's go Subway, and then we can Dark Slash and end this off. And we Dark Slash. Ending off... Le battle. Good game. Good, good game. Archipost only came in during the last parts of the game, but I definitely think if I was able to get it in earlier, I could do a lot more work. But good game. Let's hop to the next one. They have a Threscent, so I'm down for this battle, I'm not gonna lie. They have a Sombrock, though, which we can't hit all too hard, but the rest of his team we can do really, really well against with Archipost. Let's go straight full tattoo and see if we can maybe get us a, a, an immediate pivot. As we go straight into Wolf Freeze. So that would have been a really, really nice Arcapost start. So this doesn't really do anything. I'm not gonna lie. Like, what does Voltatu do this game? It literally would only hit the Octonut, and that's it. Now let's go Arco. And let us awaken as we go for our clumsy swing. Very, very nice. I think we have base 120 base. I think I have 120 base power pursuits. Because if this is a 60 base power pursuit, the, the math for the pursuit I think is kind of weird. If I understand it correctly, if delicate takes place before the double power of pursuit, that means it'd be 60 base power, which means it'd be boosted to um, 80, which means that pursuit would be 160. I'm just more confused now. I'm not going to think about it. This is a 135 stab. As actually, he's actually durable. That's a trait on Renute? Does that kill me? I, I had a feeling that didn't kill me. I did not know durable was a trait on, on Renute. It's just not a good trait, like, at all. You would literally never use durable. Hmm. <laughs> This is gonna have Shadow Lurk. So we're not gonna be Shadow Lurked today. Yep. Uh, you would never stay in here. You would die immediately. You would go into Moss realistically. So let's go back in Archipost and see what happens. Okay, and we have Chemical Cleave. Which is a quad effective move into this thing, so that's very, very good. So we go for chemical, and it one shots the moss. I mean, I can't really say a whole lot about this game because they had a durable renew and a threscent. Mm, at this point, we don't do that much else. At this point, we don't do that much. So we can clumsy swing just for some big damage. All right, around half on Sombrock is really, really nice as they go for the crystal cut. And we end up going down. And now we can just go into Vigimonte and win, and win the game. I doubt it. I don't think we actually beat Octonaut in a 1v1. But we have Voltatu for that. We rip current here and take this thing down. We also have Dark Slash for Threscent. And Daze for the Octonaut. We have Abyssant to deal with the Threscent as well. He can't switch Threscent in against this. Because I have Dark Slash. So yeah. In the end we're just fine. 
They go for Shadow Lurk, barely does anything. My Dark Slash takes it down. Now, now we only need to... Actually, Dark Slash is the stronger move. I keep forgetting that Dark Slash is strong. Stronger because technically it is Stab. Technically it is, so Dark Slash is our strongest move in our kit. Okay, half. And he goes for... Oh, he's cracked, actually. Okay. So he definitely gonna be... Actually, he doesn't even take me down here. If he shield bashes, I live. Tsunami, that never kills. I don't even think that would have killed with a crit high roll. And we take down the Octonut there. Good game. Good, good game. That was pretty much me just fighting a 5v6 thanks to the Threscent. But anyway, something Archibald did some good work. Into the next one we go. Now, I'd like you to take a look at the, the enemy team here. We got a, 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 an Instin, an, a Wolf Freeze, an Endevil, a Fruit Toad, Exoskeleton, and Squawk. Literally everything that I can hit with this, besides the Instin. We take down Instin, we're good to go. So we're gonna go straight with Voltatu. And they go with that lead, and hey, um, I'm just gonna die then. If this is Banded Icy Slash, I'm not living. But I might be able to hit this thing with a T-Strike. I don't see what else I do here besides maybe check Exoskeleton. But generally, I don't really care about Exoskeleton when I have the existence of Abyssin being able to switch in on the Dark Moves. And he only doesn't have much Swarm damage. He might even go for, like, a Ferocious Onslaught, maybe. So he goes into Squonk. Okay, maybe he expected Abyssin. Which, yeah, that makes sense. I'm gonna airstrike, actually. I'm gonna try to kill this thing. This is very in intriguing. This is this is intriguing me. I mean... This comes in, I outspeed after you, uh... Icy Slash. So, sure. Um, and then you realize what? Well, my days is entirely free. I'm gonna be- I'm gonna be that guy. I'm smarter than you. I know you. I know what you want to do. And what you will do. There we go. I'm being that guy. I'm assuming he's gonna go to Squonk. Yeah. Imagine I dark slashed. <laughs> That'd have been funny. And we're gonna go straight back into Voltaire <laughs> Straight back into it. Shadowy eyes. That's crazy. Now I'm assuming you click something obscure that I probably don't know of yet. Go with this then. Let's go back into Voltat. <laughs> Oh, this is great. Oh, just abusing the, the fact Voltatu exists. Ha, <laughs> he missed. That does suck, though. I don't think it mattered, though. Now I can go straight into, um... Archipos. And if they go Wolf Freeze, he'd have to have above 150 speed to outspeed me. And he probably does. <sighs> yeah. So we're gonna go into the one switch we had, which is a bit. Did what? Do you have rush up? Why'd you royal? kind of confused by that play, but hey. Maybe it'll make sense in some other timeline where I'm like, wait, Royal Ice is so smart. Maybe. And he's not 
sickly sweet. He's he's sticky. In interesting, interesting. Interesting. This is not gonna be very difficult. I mean they have the infant in the back. All I need to do is keep um my Vincent around. That's his hemlock then. If they go Incin, then I can go right into Abyssin. So I kill that, which is beautiful. They can go Incin, I go Abyssin, then I get my Fin Slash off, which they're switching to that, or Endoble, which I wall Endoble. They can't go back to Skellis, because after I do that, I can then Rip Current. I can even Flashing Strike on the possibility of that. Um, Can I actually go into this? I mean, Archipost is absolutely insane during this endgame. All I do is I spam... um. What's it? Uh, clumsy swing as soon as this crystal wall goes down. That doesn't live even after. Actually, it does live, surprisingly. Ha! He's at one. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh, I can rip current, though. It doesn't really matter. There it is. Okay. I think we got a icy here. I'm gonna go for the Archipost win. I think we can live one chaotic actually. They smoke, smoke, screen. Bro. That doesn't. It doesn't do anything to like act. It doesn't. I literally will not. Do you understand that evasion? is hor horrible in this game. I don't think he understands that evasion is not good in this game. Because it, do it doesn't start doing anything until, like, plus four. It, it literally doesn't start doing anything until plus four. I will get this to work. I will, uh, just, he's gonna cone up cold, you know? We're sacking Dayferno. Why do you crystal wall again? <sighs> Whatever. I mean, I could have dazed it, could have killed it. Kind of chemical breath. Okay. Wow. Mm, I'm being outplayed right now. Okay, please freaking kill me. Just, just one shot me with chemical breath. I know you have it. You know why? Because I have a thing attached. What thing? I will win this game with Archipost if I die trying. I'm gonna hex. Okay, now I can work boss. I don't know what thing he has attached, but now I'm a little concerned. Alright, we wake in and we clumsy swing. And we end off the game beaten up the end over. Good game. I will. GG. Good game, good, good game. Well, that was surely an experience I'll remember. You know, I already forgot what I was doing. But anyway, that'll be the end of this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I honestly feel like um, Archipos is still absolutely crazy. I seriously don't know why it's not used. Oh my God. I seriously do not know why Archipos is not used more than it is used right now. It is so incredibly good, but no one uses it. I never see Archipos. It is terrifying to see in a battle because if you're not prepared for it, if you don't got your bulky fire type in the back, you're dead. And if it is Dayferno as your bulky fire type, you're still freaking dead. I don't know why it's not used. It's, it's such a strong late game cleaner, absolutely insane on hyper offense, seeing how much damage it can do. And it is just such a, such a cracked such a cracked doodle but yeah hopefully you all enjoyed and i'll see you over the next one bye